Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Lausch Posse sunscreen. And I've picked one of their most popular sunscreens which is the Antelius Invisible Fluid SPF 50. Now if you have a different Lausch Posse sunscreen, go ahead and exchange it and you can still follow the same guide. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you exactly want to know. Do you want to specifically know about the application of the sunscreen or do you want to know how you can use it in the skincare routine? So I want to cover as many questions as possible and hopefully I can cover all of them. This would be nice. And therefore, I want to share with you an entire example of a morning skincare routine so that you can see each step so that I can hopefully then cover your specific question. But I'm going to leave the timestamps in the description box down below so that you then can immediately jump towards that point that you want to know of so that you do not need to watch the entire video. Now, when working with the sunscreen, you can keep it very simple or a bit more advanced if you're working with more than one skincare product. Now, if you just want to keep it simple and so to say use the sunscreen on its own in the morning, well, here we have a little example routine what this can look like. It's important to wash your face properly in the morning. Then make sure that you're going to pat the skin dry and then you can follow on with your sunscreen application. Make sure to apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And and if you usually want to wear makeup on top, wait 5 to 10 minutes for the sunscreen to set and then continue with your makeup routine. And then this would be your example routine if you're looking specifically for that guide. And so if you now want to immediately just jump towards the sunscreen application, well that's completely fine, now would be the time to do so. However, if you have more than one skincare product that you usually use in the morning, here you can see an entire example routine of what steps you can include and what the order of application would look like. Now I just picked Lausch Posay products. Of course, if you have a different cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer, it's completely fine to exchange it. It won't change the order of application. So again, you want to make sure that you're starting off with a freshly washed face using your favorite cleanser. Then if you have a toner, it's an optional step. Uh, you can go ahead, this would be the next step after cleansing. If you do not have a toner, skip it and immediately move on to the next step. This can be done in your specific zone for your skin concerns. After that, if you want to follow with a moisturizer, go ahead and do so. And then lastly, you are going to follow on with your sunscreen. So your sunscreen is the last step in your morning skincare routine. Again, make sure to apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And then if you want to follow with makeup, wait those five to 10 minutes in between and then move on to your makeup application. So this would be then the entire setup. Everywhere where you can see optional, you may have that step or you may have that specific product at home, then go ahead and include it. If you do not have that specific product at home, just skip it and move on to the next step. This is how you can adjust it, but still know the order of application. And so I now want to share with you the entire example skin routine now properly on my face. I have the set up right here and we're going to go through this step by step. Now we are going to get started with the first and most important step, which is washing your face using your favorite cleanser. As already mentioned, I just have the Roche Posay examples right here. If you have a different one, replace it as long as it works well for you. You can wash your face above the sink or in the shower. Either way is fine, depending on your usual habits. Just make sure that when washing your face that your hands are clean. If they aren't clean, clean them at first and then move on to washing your face. Now, as an example, I'm going to use Lausch Posay Effaclar Purifying Foaming Gel Cleanser. This is just one example. And most often with your, so to say, regular cleanser, maybe exfoliating acid cleansers, they are being applied to wet skin. So when working with water, my suggestion would be use lukewarm water to warm water so it feels comfortable on the skin and that you can properly later on rinse off the cleanser from the skin. And I'm going to do this above the sink so that you can see the application. It will be the same in the shower. So I'm going to get started with now wetting my face, using a bit of the cleanser, massaging it all over, and then we're going to rinse it off. So let's go ahead and get started. So use about one pump, one and a half pump, maybe two, depending on how much comes out or about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand. So about that much more or less for your face and neck. Rub it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face at night for about 30 seconds to a minute, making sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. So 
So once you have massaged it all over, you now can go ahead and rinse it off. Now, when doing this above the sink, you can remove most of it by just using your hands, but then I highly recommend using those makeup microfiber cloths in between to help you to remove the residue, whatever is left on the skin surface, because usually you cannot properly get it off the skin by just using your hands. Take your washcloth and wet it. Now gently swipe it across your face and neck to take off the residue of your cleanser. Now rinse again. So now it is important to take a clean towel and gently remove the excess water from the skin surface. You do not want to apply your skincare products nor your sunscreen to wet skin, so please avoid this. So once you have properly rinsed off your cleanser, you have pat the skin dry, you now can immediately move on to the next step. Now again, if you just want to apply your sunscreen, that's completely fine. Now would be the time to apply your sunscreen to the skin. However, if you have maybe toner, zone, or moisturizer at home, well, those are the steps that you're going to apply before applying your sunscreen. So since I'm going to go with La Roche-Posay, they have a mist or they even have the Everclad lotion. So if you have a toner at home, if you have a mist at home, this will be now the next step after cleansing. Now I'm going to go with the mist just to give you an example. Usually with this one, you're going to spritz it evenly over your face. You're going to leave it on the skin for about like two to three minutes and then tap off any excess. When it comes to a regular toner that has like a water-like texture, my general guide would be used between five to eight, five to ten drops in the palm of your hand and then evenly blend it all over. So, and now you are going to give it a moment so it can like absorb most of it and then you would go ahead and tap off any excess. I'm going to do this now fast forward so that you get the idea and see the steps. So this can be done with a cotton pad, this can be done with a tissue or maybe even with a towel, whatever you may have at home or want to use. And then just go ahead, tap it off. This is only needed if you have like a water mist. If you're using a usual like toner, and you're going to apply that one to the skin, you're already using about five to 10 drops, which should be enough so that the product can be applied evenly all over and absorb it to the skin. So, and once you are done with the application of the mist or even with your toner, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, the next optional step would be using a specific serum, depending on your skin concerns. Now, this may be a hydrating serum. This may be a vitamin C, niacinamide. You should get the idea when working with such specific treatments and go ahead and use the correct ones for your skin concerns. As an example, I have right here La Roche-Posay Pure Niacinamide Serum. That one has a thicker texture in general. Uh, La Roche-Posay zones have like a thicker texture where my guide of using just three drops should be more than enough because it's that thick in texture. But overall, if you're working with different treatments, again, five to eight drops for watery zones, for a bit thicker, stickier zones, three to five drops so that you get the idea and have a general guide in mind. Put the drops in the palm of your hand, on your fingertips or immediately to the face and then start blending it evenly all over. So, and once you have applied your serum all over, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And now, if you like to, you don't have to, you can move on to your moisturizer. Now, this primarily depends on, first of all, the large process sunscreen that you're using, as well as your skin type and how hydrating maybe your toner or serum already feels on its own. So, using a moisturizer before applying your sunscreen isn't really necessary. If the sunscreen on its own feels already quite hydrating, and maybe if the product 
you have already applied previously feel hydrating as well it's fine to just leave it out the moisturizing step and you may just want to use it in the evening uh, instead however if you feel the need of course go ahead and do so I have one right here by La Roche-Posay the ultra fluid and then go ahead and use about a bean size amount more or less depends on the texture of your moisturizer but you should have and like a fair amount so that you can apply it evenly and thinly all over. Do not overdo it in the sense of that you're going to coat on a thick layer because this may feel uncomfortable on the skin, especially throughout the day. So therefore be gentle and apply it evenly all over. So, and again, once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And now you can move on to your sunscreen step. Now, again, when it comes to your sunscreen, apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And what's important is the amount of product that you're going to use. And this primarily depends on the large process sunscreen that you have. Um, if you have the fluid, the guide that I'm about to share with you is the guide that you can follow at home. If you should have a bit more of like a cream-like texture or maybe gel, then this can be slightly adjusted, but you should get the overall idea. Now my general guide would be use about half a teaspoon for your face, neck, including your ears and use about one teaspoon if you want to include your decolletage because you have like a larger area to cover therefore you need to adjust it. But with the invisible fluid, that one is very liquidish. It's kind of like a zone like texture. This is how like thin it is in texture. That half a teaspoon for face and neck and ears is like just not enough. You would need to use a bit more than that. And then of course, if you want to include your decolletage, then in general, you would use more than just one teaspoon. So one teaspoon and a bit. So that you can evenly cover it all over to protect the skin throughout the day. So usually I would use such a teaspoon um, this is half a teaspoon this would be then the measurement guide but because that one isn't enough I'm going to go with one teaspoon and I'm using a bit more than half a teaspoon for your face or like for my face neck and ears of course it depends on the size of your face size of your neck as well as decolletage then you may need to adjust it but you should get the idea that you need to use a fair amount and what's also important I nearly forgot it is to give it a good shake Now it's difficult to show, I'm trying to do my best, but you can see it's quite like thin in texture. It's really like a zone like texture. So I'm going to pour it in the palm of my hand. And of course the spoon right here is just to give you a visual guide. If you know the amount, if you're like doing this as a habit, then you, of course you do not need to use a spoon. But just to give you an idea of how much you would need to use to cover it evenly and thinly all over your face, neck, ears, as well as maybe decolletage. Now you can use it around the eyes if it does not irritate your eyes. If it does irritate your eyes, I recommend avoiding it, of course. Please do not get it into your eyes, nor into your mouth. And you may want to wear like sunglasses then instead, or change the sunscreen. So as you can see with the amount that I've used, it's just enough for my face, neck, ears, a little bit down towards the decolletage, but I would need to use more if I'm really going to cover the entire area. But you need to use a fair amount. And when blending it all over, take your time so that you're making sure that you're not going to miss any areas, especially along your hairlines. And if you want to cover your ears, make sure that you're going to cover the, like the ear properly. Go over it a few times. So, and once you've applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this is how you can use it in the morning. Again, either basically on its own or with uh, other skincare products beforehand. And then this would be the entire example skincare routine that you can follow at home. 
Now, if you want to know more about example routines that I've mentioned earlier, if you want to know about like an overall general sunscreen guide, you want to look into the products that I have mentioned, uh, you want to see what they are used for, like a little description, you will find everything, including the application guide and removal guide of sunscreen in my PowerPoint. And I'm going to leave it in the description box down below. So you can go over it online or even save it to your device if you want to follow the same steps. They you will find an overall general guide of how much you need to use of each product as well, basically what I just shared in the entire video. So if overall you enjoyed this video, you find it helpful and I did hopefully answer all your questions, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. Of course, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. And if you now want to learn more about skincare in general, I have several videos on my channel. I'm going to leave some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.